Good morning. I'm Ramin Bahashti, Chief Product and Technology Officer at Dow Jones, and I'd like to thank you all for joining the WSJ CIO Summit today. I'm delighted to be joined by Anil Singhal, the co-founder, president, and CEO of NetScout. He's joining me for a conversation on the security disruption to the IT corporate service model. Welcome, Anil. Anil, I'd like to start with how do you view NetScout's role in the in the kind of tech ecosystem? Where do you guys fit in? Well, our goal is to look at emerging threats proactively and find uh, find uh, creative solutions uh, to those problems. And one of the things I feel uh, some innovation, additional innovation is needed is using smart data as the source of information to make smart decisions. There's a lot of focus on smart analytics, machine learning and AI, but you can only learn so much depending on what smart data you have. So we are branded ourselves as smart data company providing visibility without borders, meaning that whether you're deployed in the cloud, whether you're deployed on on-prem, uh, whether you're on a mobility network or carrier, uh, carrier networks or fixed line networks, we can provide you the same level of visibility because threats can come from anywhere. And how, how, how do you find uh, that challenge? Because that's, that sounds like a simple challenge to do uh, visibility without borders, smart data, but but how are you, how has your product suite evolved to kind of meet that uh, opportunity with the customer? Well, NetScout is uh, is actually in uh, phase uh, four of his incarnation, incarnation, which is NetScout 4.0, and so we have this enabling technology for last 20, 25 years, uh, both for the carrier and the enterprise market. And we, with the acquisition of Arbor Networks three years ago or four years ago, we are bringing that technology to, uh, to deliver the, uh, what we could do in the security space. So some of the building blocks, it's almost like we have many different building blocks from various acquisitions we have done. And we are now trying to conserve, uh, create the right building, uh, which will be solving this next generation security problem. You, you mentioned the, the next generation security problem. How, how have you seen the threat landscape uh, evolve? Um, and, and what are some of the things that you, you guys are solving for in the future? Well, like I said, at a high level, I think a lot of the security uh, domain is, is based on, solutions are based on endpoint uh, security, where you, have, you install things on servers or on the client machines. And we believe that uh, while those are good, they are not enough. So we deploy somewhere in between the infrastructure uh, at key vantage points. And uh, we do some more creative things with the data which we have. And the big principal difference being uh, less about signature-based de detection because you know signatures of what has happened in the past and you're making sure your network is clean but what are the signatures or what's going to happen tomorrow? And that's based on anomalous behavior. So we are focusing more on anomaly rather than fixed signatures. Not that fixed signatures are not needed, we do that too. But our real differentiation from visibility without borders and smart data is, uh, is, is that we are able to do and uh, look at prevent the attacks from tomorrow because it takes long time for attacks to uh, to really re reach a level of disruption. If you are watching that from the beginning, which our technology allows you to do, and then I think you can achieve some of those objectives. I love that, the, the, the combination of co that connected data and being able to spot anomalies. Uh, that's the kind of next kind of frontier. And have you seen kind of, you know, with your threat intelligence report, have you seen the, do you see the security threats changing or are they just kind of becoming more voluminous or sophisticated? I think there it's, it's both, but I would look at uh, smaller, more frequent attacks is a bigger challenge. And, um, and uh, sometimes that escapes the scrutiny of the, of the, the, the security people uh, because it's not as threatening. For example, VPN based attacks have been there for a long time. When, when people were not working from home, 
it was not that uh, it was not a big disaster but now the whole company can be shut down and so mediocre solutions may not work anymore i love that and that's a fantastic way to end the deal and i'd like to thank you and the audience for your time today thank you